What's up, everybody? It's Project G here, coming at you with another episode of Redstone Stories. Today we're going to be talking about um, clocks and um, memory latches. Well, memory let's, let's, memory circuits is the more common term. Anyway, I'm going to jump right in because I have a lot to cover. Um, first off, <clears throat> let me show you these two clocks right now. This one's a five clock. It is the quick. This model, this version that I'm going to show you how to build today is the quickest version of a five clock and it's also the most stable of of the clocks aside from well you know a six or seven clock it doesn't matter but these ones are extremely stable and they're the quickest most stable ones out there um this on the other hand is a four clock this one is the fastest period um that i know of redstone uh, i'm sorry a uh, redstone four clock out there um, however, it's not exactly all that stable, because, as you might be able to hear, yeah, it's, uh, they, they, the torches burn out. Like, that's kind of their point. Anyway, I'm just going to show you what happens. I have this thing loaded up with some cobblestone right now, so I want to show you, um, the kind of the speed at which this stuff toggles. So, here we go. Sorry, that's the right, that's the right speed. <laughs> Pardon me. So there you go. Very steady, very uh, calm. It's about, a, a, this model is a little bit quicker than a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a tad bit quicker than a second delay. Anyway, so let me show you what happens whenever I connect this four clock to this dispenser. As you can see, it's quite sporadic. Um, it doesn't really do anything very useful. Now, I'm going to show you how to make a four clock real quick, because it's the simplest one. And I'm going to also show you uh, what it, you know, what, it, what its uses are. Um, so what I do is I place these two blocks, and on either side of either block... Oh, that's wrong. I'm placing torches all over the place. On either side of either block, you're going to put redstone torches like so. Then you're just going to connect them all with redstone. Alrighty. Now, now that that's working, we're going to go ahead and connect this one to the dispenser as well as this one. And there you go. Now you see you get a more constant um, and a lot quicker of a dispensing. You can make it even faster and more stable by adding a 5 clock to it. So that you have a virtually constant supply of whatever it is you're dispensing. Um, if you do this with arrows, your your opponent's probably going to die extremely quickly. Anyway, so moving on. Shut up. It's very annoying. Sorry about that. Um, moving on. Let me just disable this one real quick so that it won't, you know, annoy us. Moving on, uh, I'm going to show you how to build a five clock now. So, to start off, you place two blocks side by side. You place a redstone torch on the side of the first one, redstone wire on the top of that block, with a redstone torch on on the center top of the second block. And then, two blocks away, leave a two block space, see one, two, put another um, block with a redstone torch facing towards this redstone torch. And you're going to connect the two with a redstone wire. After that, you're going to build um, kind of an interesting little checkerboard design right here. Now this is, this is actually extremely important. What you're going to do is you're going to put a redstone torch here, a redstone torch below it. Okay? And then after that, you're just going to connect this redstone torch to that one, and it won't look like it does anything, but I promise you it does. And then you're going to finally place your last bit of redstone right here, and you have a five clock um, generator. And the way you get output from it is you can attach redstone to either of these two areas of this specific one. Um, also, just to clarify, the reason why I have this redstone block here right above this redstone wire is because redstone wire can't travel vertically through blo blocks like this uh, as long as it's not glass. This 
block cannot be glass, and I don't think these can either. I'm not sure. This whole V can't be glass, because I think it kind of ruins what it's supposed to do. Now, let me just show you an example of an improperly installed 5 gate, or 5 clock. As you can see, there's no clocking. It's boring and useless. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and actually repair this the way it was meant to be, and I'm going to show you... Oops. I'm going to show you um, another... Um, what am I going to say? Oh, an another... What am I call it? Circuit. Okay. What this one's called? This one is called the RS Latch. I think it's NAND Latch. I can't remember. Anyway, um, and here we go. I, I placed two blocks on a 3x3 three three grid. They're on separate corners. Redstone torches on the same side facing like that. And connect them both to each other with redstone. Now this is the tricky part. What you're going to do is you're going to determine which one you want to be the output. So I'm going to decide this one's going to be the output. So this one's going to be the input. And what you do is you lead off a line in th uh, this way. You have to attach redstone to the top of the block and then destroy it so that it leads to the, like the redstone coming off of it leads to the block, but it doesn't actually attach to the block. And this... You're going to do the same thing over here, and I'm just going to do it off this side, right here. And this one is going to be your reset button, I believe. I, I, I might be wrong. I can't remember. Anyway, so basically I'm going to put two levers. Now this one is going to be the off. This one's going to be off, and this one's going to be on. So I did that wrong, didn't I? Hmm. No, no, I didn't. Okay. So... Um, switches don't really work good, I just realized, so I'm going to use buttons instead. So here we go. Oops, that was a failure. Um, this is going to be the off button. This is going to be the on button. So whenever I push this button, no, I'm sorry, whenever I push this button, the output is on, and it stays on until I push the off button. So what this does is I can do something really rather creative with this, if I do say so myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put make an AND gate, like I showed you in my last video. And I need some redstone for that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this 5 clock and this AND gate together. And then I'm going to lead the output around here, just so you can kind of see what's going on. And I'm going to kind of steal this dispenser real quick. I hope I can get this off before the time runs out. Yeah, I got five minutes of mine. Alrighty. So, using this dispenser, which I think... Okay, never mind. Um, actually, here, let me do this a little bit. Uh, Alright. Using this dispenser, I'm going to show you what happens. So, basically the only thing that is stopping this dispenser from dispensing is this button right here. So whenever I press this button, it should start dispensing at a regular basis, and it'll keep dispensing over and over and over again until I press this button. And then it'll stop. So again, that's dispensing. It takes a little bit, it's a little bit of a delay, but in all honesty, it really shouldn't matter unless you're doing something extremely precise, like pinning someone's face to a wall, but whatever. Anyway, so um, there you go. This is a method to make a simple booby trap. Um, actually, let me put it this way. It's a little bit more complicated, but it, it's a good payoff because if you can pin someone with a to a uh, into a corner with one of these, they they don't have a chance. They won't be able to get out of the corner, and they will die. And you can do multiple dispensers too. And um, it's actually it gets even more interesting whenever you add a four clock or a couple. Let me put it this way: when you add a couple four clocks into the circuitry and attach it to this thing, then you have a extremely rapid fire. Um, booby trap 
that can be activated with the uh, touch of a pressure plate, for example. Actually, let me see if I have one. No, I don't. Let me go get one to show you an example. Because you guys like examples, I hope. So, for example, placing this redstone plate right here. If I were to step on it, it'll start shooting rocks at me. Or if I wanted to, it could shoot arrows, but I don't have that many arrows since I gather them by hand. Anyway, so, um, there you go. That was a more complex booby trap. Now, this is actually really spread out. You will be able to condense this. Um, I just was kind of doing this all over the place. So, yeah. Anyway, um... There you go. I hope you learned a lot from this, and I hope you'll be able to implement it. If you do implement this trap that I showed you, especially if you have the four clock or a couple four clocks into the into the mix, I would really love to see the types of traps you guys have made. So if you want, you can link uh, link me the video. Um, you can post it as a video response. You can do whatever. I I want to see what you guys can come up with with involving this kind of thing. So anyway, um, like I said before, I hope you have fun, and I hope to see you guys in the next video, whenever that'll be. Peace!